his aerodynamic problems wasn't Joey Logano on that 22 car. Oh, you person. think he got a little help, do you? And he's got a big tire rub on that number four as Kenseth comes across for the white flag. Last lap. Probably going to last, uh, you know, two and a half miles, but it uh, took the momentum away. And look how far out front Kenseth is. Boy, that would make me nervous. Woo! I mean, you, you love being that far ahead, but, man, you're just sitting out there, and these guys are going to get such a run on you. A one-year winless streak trying to come to an end for Wisconsin's Matt Kenseth. Edwards. Here they come. With Truex in the 78, they're going to be right there with Kenseth as they come off turn four. And there he comes, Martin. He's got to look. Truex looks to the inside. Nothing there. Can't comes to it. the high side. Can't He's going to run out of time and run out of room. Matt Kenseth wins the Sprint Unlimited. Hey guys, it is Monday, ISWR Sports Weekend Review. Let's break it down of what happened all this week, especially in the NASCAR. Well, well, the Sprint Unlimited happened last Saturday night, and Kenseth won it after having a drought. And then plus there were some accidents I didn't get a chance to see. I only saw a lot of luck by the last 10 laps of the race pretty much. Well, because I was at work, so, but, um, yeah, I seen the Tony Stewart wreck with him and Biffle and Bush. Uh, I didn't get a chance to see the uh, big one that happened in the, in the tri-oval, but, but that's the highlights, but, yeah. Uh, Junior was there, but he just couldn't get, get there in time, so, but, yeah, I mean, I mean, uh, Truex had a shot, but he just couldn't pull it off, but, yeah, that's all right. I mean, at least you're, uh, at least, uh, all it is, all it is, is just a practice race, pretty much. So, but been qualifying, <laughs> had some well, uh, one happy, uh, happy person, uh, Boyer and uh, Reed Sorensen. But it, but it, but it, but it looked like what happened is that uh, I, I, I think it was Jeb Burton, who actually drives the twenty six. Uh, he actually got in the back of Boyer, and and, and uh, that caused that reaction, but. Maybe it was a checkup. I'm not sure, but yeah, that's how how, how that happened. So, but I mean, yeah, but uh, but on Warriors' point of view, he was right. I mean, this is silly. I mean, I mean, you got a big track, a a a, a, a super speedway, and it takes so long for those cars to get up to speed. And well, plus the draft, everybody thinks they got to be right behind the leader because they get the fastest time at that place. I mean, well, uh, th those tracks for Daytona and Talladega, everybody thinks they they should got to be behind the leader. And and I don't know, but NASCAR needs to do something ab about that because if not, there'll be accidents like that, and plus there'll be so much stalling on pit road. They're gonna wait off, and then they might not make it in time. So, but but you know, I I hope they do. Why not? They just go back to the old format on the super speedways, but but yeah, the, the duels are at four on Thursday. I'll be watching it, so and to see who determine who will be where. And plus, in qualifying, Jeff Gordon in his last full time season got the pull along with his teammate Jimmy Johnson alongside. So, really, what a great way to cap off your last five hundred. <laughs> to get at the pole, so, hey, that's all right. As long as Junior goes for the back-to-back, -back, he'll be the fourth driver to do it. I believe it. He will. 
get it done. Even though a lot of the drivers are going to try and get that 500 victory, but Kansas car is strong, Hanlon's car is strong, it just depends. Because Junior can be the, 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 well, the underdog again, just like last year, because nobody thought he would have won it. Look what happened. So, so anyway, NHRA, uh, well, during the Daytona 500, the Arizona Nationals will be hidden on that day here. And uh, let me check if there's any update or news that they uh, put up. Yeah, the CarQuest Auto Parts Nationals, Internationals. As soon as it loads here, it's taking its time. <laughs> Something happened. Alright. But yeah, I mean, uh, I think that's at 11 my time, so. So it'll be going on during the 500. <laughs> but anyway, what can you do? I mean, the, they can't put both events on the, on the same day. So, I mean, okay, there we go. Ready to be here again. Oh, hey, oh, uh, Beckman. Phoenix Rising. Factory Stock Showdown. Entry Army celebrating 15 years. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Tony Schumacher ran his uh, retro uh, paint scheme at, 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 at the Winter Nationals. The Eagle flies again. Huh. Oh, okay. Mem member track. It's uh, National Aka. Aka Peaks PXM, it's AKA PXM Eagle M Mortarplex. So, but anyway, okay, so I mean, it was just a, 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 a member track, is, is, is what it was. Okay, I'm gonna check on the race here and see what time it starts. I'm, I'm actually pretty sure it was 11 and I didn't type it right. Dang it. <laughs> okay. There we go. Okay. Okay. Take a look at Sunday. Oh, no. One Eastern. So that's a 10. Holy crap. So we come on the same time as the 500. Okay, I mean, I don't mind that, so <laughs> it's just the way it is. And to run on ESPN3, which you get for for free if you have charter, so you can watch it. So, anyway, WE, well, I seen Raw, and uh, yeah, Daniel Bryan and Roman Reigns cannot trust each other until Fastlane. But, Need, needless to say, I pick that Dolph Ziggler will go heel at fast lane and, and cost Dale Bryan the match, and they'll be less in at and um, and then Reigns at WrestleMania. And plus, I made a mistake type of deal with the uh, Sting and Triple H. Anyway, I thought they were going to face e each other at fast lane, but it was a face off. I, I didn't r read the the face off part, but yeah, it yeah, because I was thinking it's like. Why would you want them to fight at a pay-per-view that's not the big four? <laughs> uh, but yeah, why not wait till WrestleMania? And which they will. So hopefully, so hopefully that'll happen. So, but maybe they just want to face Triple H out of the way, and then then uh, Sting can face the Undertaker at WrestleMania. But I'm thinking it's gonna probably happen next year because I mean, look at the guy. I mean, he is getting old. I mean, his body's wearing out. He needs to. Take a break for a year and just come back and face the icon at WrestleMania 32. So hopefully that'll happen. And other matches, we'll wait and see. Here, let me check if I miss any matches. I don't think I actually did, but never know. It doesn't hurt to check. Oh, plus, uh, tomorrow is the Hall of Pain 2K Showcase Review 2K15. I'll be on that probably on Wednesday or Thursday. 
Is Brian headed to the show of shows? Okay, it's just a hype up. Presidential powerhouses. <laughs> they got Bill Clinton in a Ric Flair robe, and they got George W. Bush in a Hulk, Hulk, Hulk Hogan a headband and a mustache. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's a, I mean, it's, I mean, it's a Photoshop type of thing, but yeah. So anyway, off of that, NFL, then I ne never heard anything, so nothing else going on, but in NBA, well, Portland took care of the Lakers big time, and the All-Star game, uh, Matthews didn't do so well in the three-point shooting contest, but, uh, but, uh, at least that, all, that uh, Aldridge and, uh, Lillard were in double di digits in, in points in the All-Star game, which the West won. Go figure, because it's a no defensive game usually. But which the best it, which the West is better than the East <laughs> as of now. So, but but as far yeah, I mean, I, I think that Westbrook had the most points. He's, I think he got like about forty some points that game. So, but but anywho, I'm gonna check the NBA standings after Portland. Well, I mean, I mean during I mean beef will be for the all. Uh, Star break because I don't think I read them to you after that. Yeah, 163 to 158. Okay, so I was wrong. Okay, after a little tip here. Okay. So, as the Eastern Conference, it's Atlanta, Toronto, Chicago, Washington, Cleveland, Milwaukee, Charlotte, and Miami. That's the top eight. And then the West, got Golden State, Memphis, Portland's in third, tied with Houston. So, both are tied for third. Then it's Dallas, the Clippers, San Antonio, and Phoenix. And the team that went off on a high note before the All-Star break was... Won four in a row, and that was Chicago. They won four in a row, and the team that did not do so well have uh, it's the Lakers. They lost six in a row. <laughs> so, but yeah, I'm so glad the Lakers have a bad season because they deserve it. So, but yeah, for Portland, they they just got Utah on on uh, Friday, so I'll be. Waiting for that game to come down too, and also plus um, they got a big game on Sunday during the 500 and WE Fastlane and the Drag Race. They face Memphis, and let me see here, and it's it's at six o'clock my time on CSN, which I get. So I'll be probably missing that because I'll be watching WE Fastlane. So I'll keep it a uh, track. I mean, uh, tracked on my phone. Well, this well, well my score tracker but I I hope they, they do beat I mean Memphis yeah I mean the Grizzlies so and because they are two and three right now <laughs> I mean well the uh, Western st uh, Conference standings so that that's a this will be a big game for Portland because because last time they met Portland almost beat them they almost beat them so they'll get them and plus Utah should not be much of a problem even though they're below the top eight so it was at the time a fight for uh, eighth right now be between Phoenix and OKC, and in the East uh, same same issue between Miami and uh, Brooklyn. So it's between Miami, Brooklyn, and Boston in the East, and Detroit and Indiana, but that's close. And plus, yeah, it's just Phoenix, OKC, and uh, New Orleans are in the fight for the eighth spot. So yeah, so that's how that work will work out. So anywho. Uh, and then n nothing on college football, as I know. Yeah, so n nothing too new. But it's college basketball. Well, Oregon beat USC, but they could beat UCLA. Uh, they, they, I mean, they actually kept with UCLA for quite a while, and they just lost at the end. But Gonzaga, they took care of business. They got their wins this weekend. Uh, 
and now they are to face uh, one of their rivals, St. Mary's, and let me take a look when it is. And Arizona will be Washington State, go figure. 86-59. Utah be California, 76-61. Okay. Yeah, they beat Pepperdine. Cause like I did. Which that last time they met each other, uh, Godzilla won by two. But 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 uh, but uh, but uh, this time they, it was a little bit more manageable. I mean, more more in the safe zone. <laughs> yep. Okay. They face Pacific. I mean, Pacific on uh, on Thursday. Yep. Then they're at St. Mary's. On Saturday at seven, my time. So you have it. So what the Bulldogs can do, number three Bulldogs. See how how, how well they do. So got nothing else to say or mention about. I mean, pretty much it's all been NASCAR and uh, NBA All Star Game for me this week. So anyway, here's my BGM choice of the week. theme from Mega Man Street Fighter X. I I mean it's a downloadable game. Love the boss theme how they dub that up. I think it's awesome, so go check it out. Said who? Um videos coming next to more than NASCAR 06 total team control. I actually did some videos already and the uh, same for Friday. We will to, to actually put them on YouTube on Friday. Uh, on my NCAA football 06 I'm in the Big 12 right now, first game <laughs> as of right now, so. And also uh, begin the W2K15 for you, Hall of Pain, on, on a Wednesday or Thursday. Just means how, how, how many parts there are in. And uh, go figure, so. So I hope you guys had a good Valentine's Day. Uh, I didn't have no date. <laughs> That's okay with me. I mean, hey, saves money. I, I may not have to worry about it. So, but, um, yeah, I've just. Waiting to watch the Sprint Unlimited <laughs> when I got home, so. And, uh, what else? Oh. Also, um, healthcare, it's been a big issue f for me this week because I've been trying to sign up for health coverage and it's a pain. <laughs> it's a, I mean, it's a pain. It's a, well, uh, well, uh, well, at least I, will, I actually won't be penalized because I just had the bare, bare, verify myself and all that so actually I tried to do that uh, last night and it took like about nearly an hour for me to wait so it's like forget this so <laughs> but uh it, but I uh, but uh, I think it was last Saturday I actually called them and then they told me like you're honest still I mean you actually won't get penalized yada 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 all that stuff it's like okay so <laughs> yeah because they're uh, verification thing was not working so that's why I wasn't on there yet but but I will get there so because yeah, yeah, because if I don't get it done I'll be uh, penalized on my taxes now and I'll be cool so <laughs> so anyway that's it so I got nothing else to say anything else nothing else going on so anyway guys take care do, do you think what's right don't be dumb so and wash your hands I don't know why it doesn't, you don't take 15 or 10 seconds of your life to do it, but I don't know. 
So, so yeah, just do what you think what's right, and please just don't and don't be too lazy. All right, <laughs> because everybody is, has a point to be lazy, but just be, don't be too lazy. I haven't seen that happen in a lot. So, so just gotta get get going. So, all that. So yeah. So anyway, tune in to the Daytona 500 and the and the NHRA CarQuest Auto Parts Nationals, W Fastlane, and the Blazer game against Memphis. All those games, I mean, all those events on that day. And boy, I'm going to be a worry ward. Well, actually, well, I'm just going to be tuning in on each one of them. So, but, 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 I mean, but technically, the, the Daytona 500 is the biggest one of them all. And, and plus, that's one I'm, I'm be more focused on the, uh, the, uh, on that day. So, that's it. So anyways, it plus two to the duels on Thursday at four on Fox Sports One. Take care, guys.